Fill her up. You're listening to the Gas Digital Network. Stand Stand clear of the closing doors, please. Clear of the closing doors, please. It's alive. Transfer is available. It's available to the Your next and last stop is. Last stop. You're tuning in to the sub creature. You're tuning in to the sub What's up, what's up? we got another episode here. I'm Rick McGuire, joined alongside Kim Kong, and of course PDD's not here. Where's PDD? PDD is Did he just not just, show up today? I'm worried about all Dominicans at this point. <laughs> <laughs> now, what is he? Is he Dominican? Is he black? Does anyone know? No one knows. No one knows. There's a gray area in New York because they live on top of each other, you know? All those neighborhoods are 50-50. <laughs> That is true. We we have a couple of great fill-ins, however. Chris from High Society Radio. What's going you on? You are almost becoming a regular at this point, which I do not mind at all. Every time somebody says that when I come on a podcast, I'm like, that's a really sweet way to say I got nothing going on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so available. Yeah. Um, and comedian Hannah Dick- Dickinson. Struggled a little. Uh, I, Asked I me know. before, and you still I know, I know. stumbled on the. I know. It's, well, it's, we just it's also met. right here on the computer. <laughs> we just met like right before, but I screwed it up either way. It's okay. Um, welcome, and thank you for uh, sitting in for the show. Thank you for having me. Absolutely, um, guys. Are you still kind of recovering a little bit? From uh, yeah. Skankfest. Yeah. Yeah. You guys uh, looks like, according to social media, you guys had one hell of a time. Yeah. Um, where do you even start? I saw you doing a little bit of crowd surfing. Kim was doing some crowd surfing. Did you, Faga? No, I didn't. Uh, Why? I was barred from getting on the stage. Why? I don't know. I guess Andrew Schultz takes up more space than me. I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, you should have thrown yourself. I don't even think where people were asking. I just saw people flinging themselves I, up there. I went to come up on stage and Christine blocked me and Harrington. No. Yeah. And I was like, I'm not on the same. I'm not Harrington. This is. No. I have a house. <laughs> that didn't take long. She blocked you? She was just like, no more. And I was like, what the fuck? Kim, have you crowd surfed before? No, that was my first time. Oh well, that god. video was my second time, but my first time was the night before. Oh my god, how many fingers were in you? None. None. Are you upset they about They barely that? touched my ass. Oh, how's that even possible? I know. People were like very were your nice. your stomach or your back? It looked like you were on your back. I was on back. my back. How are, you on, how are you crowd surfing on your back and no one touched your it ass? It was like, I mean, Alex. Alex crowd surfed. Alex, what do you think? Did you crowd surf? Did people feel you up? I felt so safe crowd surfing. Literally, they were so respectful. Nobody even tried. It was yeah. great. It was like they were like holding like my like side cheeks. Like not even like. You didn't even get so an nice. accidental finger slip. No. And if mm. I did... That's life. No, I Are didn't. Are you upset that you didn't? No. I had so much fun. <laughs> I did. I'm I was more impressed that you didn't lose your phone. Yeah, here we got the video up right now. <laughs> Dude, your shirt is pulled up. Someone was touching you. Well, there, I mean, my shirt was, it's, one, it's a crop top. And you're yeah, holding that She wasn't that wearing phone, right? much clothes. You're holding that phone there, right? Yeah, I'm holding that phone. And people were like carrying me, so it was being pulled, but not really like. Can we also just talk about how good that shirt is? Uh, yeah, it's, it's a, a really Confederate good shirt. It's a flag shirt that says gay pride. It's fucking hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to Rich Slayton, richslayton.com. Wow. Perfect timing for that, too. That sh- that shirt. We're coming up to... I wear it every skank fest. I feel like it's appropriate. Oh, dude. It, it, well, yeah. It's just, are people just confused by it? Yeah. 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 They're like, all right. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> usually they get offended first, actually, and then they're like, oh. That's People funny. at Skankfest actually get Some, offended. Yeah. Wow. What's the crowd that goes there? I mean, it's white male, but. Cargo shorts. Yeah. Yeah. White lot, male cargo shorts. A lot of beards. A lot of beards. Stink. But they're really sweet. There's also like a lot more black dudes there this year than. A lot of black ever dudes. Before. A lot, and how do you feel black about gay that? dudes, too. A few black gay dudes. Yeah, it was gay black. I was yeah. shocked. Was a lot more women there than like, ever before. I. Three times during the course of the weekend, like, nudged somebody and be like, why is there so many hot chicks here? This is. I feel unsafe. Yeah. And then was there a boxing match also, or was that not part of this? Yeah, Lewis fought Harrington. Mm -hmm. Uh, Wow. How did that go? Where was there a ring? Where did all this take place? We built a wrestling ring in the first floor, Capital Wrestling. Those guys are great. Wow. I had to work for them yesterday. Zach had to do something and then immediately collapsed in the back and was like, I'm just done for the weekend. I'm not coming in this week. Oh. (laughs) 
How did how did everything go though? <laughs> I like that you sold out, Zach. That's oh, the yeah, best. Totally. All right. So we should have told Shannon while she was still here. <laughs> oh shit. The um, it sounds like it was a huge success. It was. It was and, really fun. And we haven't even talked about the Louis C.K. part of this yet. Yeah. Which got national news. Yeah. I saw that shit on TMZ. Yeah. Newsweek. It, that was everywhere. Yeah, it was. It really. Did is. you guys People know that pissed. he was coming originally, or how did? No. No, I don't think anyone knew yeah. until he showed up. He just kind of like walked in. Yeah. He's like, I'm gonna take a slot. Yeah. Did he just kill it or? Yeah. He yeah. He fucking destroyed. Murdered. Yeah. Because I did see a video. He It looked like he got a standing ovation. And, he did. People yeah. were losing their minds. Uh, he also did a completely different hour than the one that leaked. Yeah. Like Really? Yes. That's... Or no, he didn't do an hour. He did 20 minutes. Yeah. But it was 20 minutes that were not on that hour. Yeah. That's really interesting. What kind of... Like, you don't... You, without getting specific... Did he talk at all about like... He opened with it. Yeah, up front. I feel like you kind of have to, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think he yeah. learned his lesson from the leak. Mm. <laughs> He's like, I got to change up my material. He yeah. Got, yeah. He got hit so hard for that. But I, nobody yeah. there would have been annoyed if he didn't. You know what I mean? Where we were. And nobody was at the club that he was at. Yeah. It's just people online who are like, why didn't he do what I wanted despite not paying for this ticket? Well, you know what you know what I think is might happen is that I think people are just going to eventually – this is going to happen so many times that people are just going to start losing interest in the headline. Mm -hmm. And they're going to be like, oh, yeah, okay, we don't really care anymore. Like how many times are you going to make this a headline in the news? And then it's just going to drown out like, it, like this stuff always does. Yeah. Um, however, I think it was really cool that you know he surfaced. So this is the TMZ video we got here. Mm-hmm. You never know what can happen. Crazy things happen. Here's one of those crazy things. Ladies and gentlemen, Louis C.K. <laughs> The girls jumping up and down. <laughs> That's so funny. That's my favorite part of the whole video is the chicken and dress jumping up and down. <laughs> this does feel like a weird rally, though. I know. To be honest. No, it sounds scary. I get why they would use this, <laughs> you know? Thank you. Yeah, see, this is stuff that's just going to, I mean, this is awesome that it was at Skankfest that this happened, but that's just going to eventually stop happening because people are just going to be like, we, we can only report on this so many times before really drilling it home. But um, people are probably also wondering why the fuck we're talking about Skankfest on Subway Creatures, and that's because it was created and run by Gas Digital Studios, which is where we are sitting right now. Mm -hmm. um, so that definitely sounds like something I'm going to have to get to next year. Uh, it sounds like it's it's you, you shouldn't really miss that. It's pretty fun. I was I'm not going to lie. This is my third skank fest. The first year I went, I was really nervous to go. Did you perform every year or just this year? E or? No, I performed every year. I've did I perform the first year? The last three years of Skank Fest, not the first year. Yeah, every year I've gone, I performed the last three years. Yeah. And um the first time I went, I was like super nervous. I also was just like nervous in general. Um, the first time I met Lewis and Jay and Dave, because I was like, didn't get what was going on. <laughs> and I, I swear to God, like the first few times Lewis hit on me, I was like, Oh, this is like some sort of Legion of Skanks prank. It's gonna be like they're going to like carry me on the show or something. I always thought there was like something else to it. Mm. And I feel like that's what a lot of people think about the festival. You know what I'm yeah. saying? They're like, oh, it's weird. But I don't know. It was really, it was really great. Everybody was really, really nice. I got smacked in the ass twice at Skank Fest this year, both times by women. And you sure Women you knew? No, fans. Okay. No, that's all right, right? No. Is that not it, right? No, it's I don't not. really know how that it's works. It's super fucking annoying. I hate when girls do that. Mm. I hate it. Don't you hate that? I mean, I feel like I do it, so now I'm feeling guilty. <laughs> <laughs> I always do that to my coworkers. Yeah, I no, guess I'm. Coworkers is different. Like I'm talking about like a fucking stranger that came to a show to watch me do stand up. Yeah, but do you talk about. Like if a girl from the. Like if you did a show. And you were just hanging out after and one of the girls came up and smacked you in the ass. I would rather do have them do that than when people ask me to like hang out or like have a drink <laughs> and talk. I'm like, no, I do not want to like, no, yeah, people yeah. like, let's go out. I'm like, I don't want to hang out with you. I'd rather them hit my ass and then walk away. Like, honestly, <laughs> I guess it's quicker. <laughs> yeah, it's like a quicker. So Hannah, you weren't you weren't there this weekend. I was not. I was at um, Clusterfest. Well, oh, okay. So you were at Clusterfest. Now that's the one over in San Fran, is it? Yes. Okay. And that's why I saw Petey perform. So you, oh, so you, you went to a set? Uh, yeah. You had he a Petey sighting. 
Oh, yeah. Man. How do you do? He did great. Killed it. Pretty sweet. Theater of 5,000 people. He just, yeah, he did really wow. well. Wow. Good for so. him. Yeah, and he still hasn't made it back, I guess, because he's not here. But, uh, damn, PD. Yeah. That's all right. We though. miss you. We got you. Hannah, how long have you been in New York? Uh, almost two years. So in October, it'll be two years. Is that almost? I guess a year and a mm-hmm. half. What, what yeah. Are... So, what, how's the experience been here? It's good. I was just, we were just talking about this earlier because Kim and I moved around the same time and we hated it because we had our first winter here. Were you both coming from the same spot? Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. we were both in LA. And now I can't, I go back to LA. I was back in LA shooting something like a week ago and I was so depressed the whole time I was really? there. Yeah. I didn't have a car, so it, I felt isolated. But also when I met with people, they were just, everyone, when they ask you, when someone asks you how you're doing in LA, what they're asking it's, is like, let me tell you about this commercial. It comes I just off did. pretentious. Yeah, it's like, just they're a, waiting for their turn to like go. They want to tell you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's like everyone has something going on. I guess I shouldn't be talking mad shit, but it's like, <laughs> I don't know. It's just I didn't think I'd ever want to live in New York for a long period of time, and now I'm like, well, I don't want to move back. Yeah, so. I can see that. I mean, it's it's this is honestly we've said it in the past. This city can make or break you, and it will chew you up and spit you out for some people. But it sounds like you're not going down that path. Yeah, I feel like I was already broken when I got here, so it was. <laughs> you can't get any an easy you adjustment. Can't. Yeah, there's only up. Yeah, right before I moved here, I met with this like shitty agent. It was called Players Talent Club, and it oh was like in a building. You with know, a... it's shitty because she's calling them out. Yeah, he's not gonna. He's probably dead, honestly. <laughs> he had an office next to an OBGYN, and it was like he I, he didn't have an he didn't even That's have a receptionist. Yeah. yeah. But there were like two rooms like this and there was an empty room with a bunch of magazines and then him watching TV and he's like, you're early. And I was like, is that an issue? And then he told me I was fat and Uh-oh. looked old and that I should probably just gain 60 pounds so I could just like do the fat Amy thing. Um, and I was like, oh, yeah, I'm moving to New York. <laughs> this, wow. This That's it. insane. That really is. This was uh, pre me too. Uh, it was pre me too, so I couldn't. No one cared about my story. You know, I couldn't sell it to a tabloid. Pre me too sounds like when you sexually assault a, a baby. newborn baby that came out too early. <laughs> yeah, that's what we. That's what me and Zach did at Skankfest. We watched a Serbian film. If anybody doesn't know, there is a baby rape scene in it. Oh my no! God. Was streamed this what? Friday on Gas Digital. This was in the festival. <laughs> yeah. Was, was this the, your film fest portion? No, I. That was it. Was Zach's show? It was his call? We were going to do Night of the Living Dead, and then we started uh, drinking and talking about a Serbian film a couple of days. before before and he was like we should do that and i was like are you sure how was a live re- audience how was that received people were happy to see us <laughs> oh you mean they were happy the film was over and you guys came on <laughs> no we talked through the whole thing oh, tony God. hinchcliffe joined in it was, it was great oh man i don't even want to ask any questions about that film it just sounds like it speaks for itself oh it's an awful awful movie <laughs> We're going straight from the bottle on that, huh? <laughs> yeah, that comment, yeah. yeah, I love how there's a cup in front of you, but you choose to take the That's bottle. Cup, yeah, you know? it's my cup. But, um, eh. Okay. Well, what right. were you drinking out of that cup? Water? Yeah, That's just fine. water. That's fine. All right, guys. We have a, uh, a couple of videos that we just have to do some follow-up to. Uh, that's one of the things that we do on this show. Uh, but I do want to ask you guys your opinion on some of these. Let's we'll start with the first one. There was a... Kim, if you remember, we had a clip similar to this. I there was a weird this. sound coming out of... Uh, the the vents mm-hmm. on the sidewalk. Mm-hmm. All right, let's just watch this clip and then we'll get into it. <laughs> oh my god! What? what is that? Okay. Okay. Any guesses on what that could possibly be? That was human. That sounds like when I itch my throat. Yeah, that was a human. Yeah, like, am I the only one who's ever seen that movie Mimic? Kind of sounded like that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I was always thinking, you ever like, you you drink a Gatorade and like your your mouth gets that. Okay. You know, like you're trying to like hawk a loogie. Mm -hmm. I was thinking that. It's way too Um, loud though. I know. It was really scary. It sounds. Do you remember the last time we did this? Yeah, it sounded like an alligator. Yeah, people were like freaking out, but it was a little more frequent than that. Mm -hmm. But um, so it turns out, I mean, it's actually not anything. I wish it would would have been something a little more fun. What is it? Um, it so apparently that's of of course water pressure as 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 always. You know, when you post something like this, someone has the answer. You always have the fucking experts who jump in Mm -hmm. the comment section and they go, "Well, actually, this is what it." So it's a transformer vault. 
And because Decepticon or an Autobot? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I mean, that's that's honestly how you probably saw this going, and how I looked at it when I saw it in the comment section. There's a sump pump down in that vent to get the water out because obviously it's a transformer vault and it just sits down there and it drains all the water out. So that's so actually slurping water. That's sound. just slurping water out of there. And if you remember last week, it was pouring rain. Mm -hmm. So this was one of those days. Unfortunately, it wasn't something, you know, some kind of animal. Yeah, but you know, those fucking like dorks that. don't know anything that could still lead to like a pit with like a rancor in it or something. Oh, you know? absolutely. hundred percent. I mean, yeah. I'm not ruling that out. It's just, I was hoping there would, you know, we would get some kind of like, actually, that's some exotic animal that, you know, someone probably let go or flushed down the toilet. And no, we didn't get anything like that. Hmm. It's a fucking drain pipe. Jesus. I never got the thing about flushing this stuff down. <laughs> now I hear it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, once once I say that, you're like, oh, fuck. Yeah. Um, but obviously you can see the comment section. just. It sounds like wild. a frog sucking a dick. <laughs> well, How someone, do you know what that sounds like? Just what I imagine. <laughs> <laughs> someone did say in the comment section, it just sounds like some kind of prostitute blowing someone down there. Sloppy ble uh, BJ. Oh. And one more time. We should play side by side the grapefruiting video. You ever seen that oh video? That God. chick who'd be like, you have a grapefruit, you man. Oh, man. Can we get a video of someone deep throating silently and play that sound next to it? <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely Please. better. Um. So that was, I don't know if they're actually going to do that or not, because I'm waiting for it to I mean, pop up. Like the, like it, it seems like does. a whole production, huh? Is it too much? Alex said it's not too much. She, and I honestly, she seemed very confident answering I, that. She literally was like, no, we're she getting goes, this. no, we have We're it. getting this We had it suck. queued up. We knew you were going to say that. Um, uh, so now I'm very what, interested. <laughs> you want an actual, that's what you want, the actual thing or a mimicking? We want a, uh, a whatever, video of a whatever. sloppy blowjob. How about this? How about this? No you, sound. You, okay. you and then play that the, sound. You play the sound for us, and we'll guess which one's which. And we won't. We well, won't we know the sound. We, I, I'm very curious to hear what this other sound is. What is? What'd you say it was? The great. What is it? Great. He's not saying it sounds like it. Oh no, it does sound. There's a there's a there's oh, a black chick who put out blowjob tutorial videos. Uh, and she had one where she was, it was called grapefruiting, where she cut a hole in a grapefruit. Oh, wait, really I saw this. And sucked it I did the, see this. And it just, yes. it was a similar sound. Really? Yeah. She's one of those very, like, slap out. Yeah. Like, wow, Rick, you yeah. sounded really good at that. That was a great impression. <laughs> did you hear Rick. that? She, how many times did you watch that video, dude? I watched it to completion. I can't wait I've to hear I've never heard now. of this. You're how gonna, how you're do the girls not know the tutorial? This is my bonus. Because uh, <laughs> this is great. Oh man, how yeah. old is this video? It's fairly long, I think. This is actually a. Pretty she shows old you video. how to properly hollow out. Oh the my god, she really—it's like really a tutorial. Oh no, it really is. Yeah. She hollowed it out. Is yeah. she eating pussy? No, no, no she's no, no, gonna no. put that grapefruit. She's on literally a guy. recommending oh, right. somebody do that do to a man's dick. The grapefruit from your mouth. <laughs> You're gonna twist up and down on his shaft and suck the head at the same time. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Wait. It's pretty similar. That's okay. Now play the other sound. Now, ladies. Oh my God! It wasn't too far. It's yes, like the we same got a match. Exact we got a match. Sound. <gasps> Holy shit! I don't. Yeah, it's like the head at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> what a violent. That's crazy. That is pretty, you know, and that he just went off a of sound. How about the fact that he nailed that? He nailed that. How many that. times did you watch that video? Yeah, you were making fun of me for watching that. You nailed that without a video or anything. You nailed that. Sound. That's why you always smell like grapefruit. Yeah. I tried to book her on High Society Radio. <laughs> and we are off. Wow. That was great. That, that was a very good analogy right there. I'm I'm super impressed that because that video is old too. Like you were saying, that's an old video. That's fucked up. I just it's so one when, from she, the when it starts that, that and she's like, I, some of y'all have never grapefruited your man. I, was like, I don't even know this you. term. That's what the Tiffany Haddish did. Girls Trip. That was like her big. That's the reason why she's so famous. Oh it's, really? Yeah. She just stole that bit from that lady. I guess now I know where she took it, but that was in <laughs> oh. Girls Trip. So we just exposed that. Yeah. It's like wow. how Rick Ross stole Rick Ross's name. Yeah, a lot of people don't know that actually. People are dumb. People I are didn't very know that. dumb. Yeah, there was an actual guy named Free. Well, Freeway, Freeway, the rapper, took his name, and then his name was Freeway Ricky Ross. So two rappers stole his various names. Wow, like the yeah. biggest. 
He made a billion dollars in three years. Biggest drug dealer in America. I'm gonna become the government was giving him the drugs. Yeah. I'm gonna become a rapper and I'm gonna name myself Griselda Blanco. It would work. Yeah. You you look like a Griselda. The Godmother. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, That's cow uh, cocaine cowboys. Yeah. She has the whole cocaine cowboys too. Is about her. Yeah. That's right. Uh, Black Widow. Right. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I could see that. Hell yeah. Could totally. Maybe it should be Griselda Blanco for Halloween. That's what does she look like? You. She's got. She wears. I those, think she's like fat and old. I feel like she wears those <laughs> church lady hats too. You know what I'm talking yeah. about? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think she has curly short hair. This is what I'm imagining her. She, curly she's definitely short old because she was selling fat mad coke in the 80s, right? If yeah, she's alive, no, yeah. she's, she's old. old. Uh, is if she dead? She's alive. I don't know. No, 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 alive? no. She's dead. Oh, okay. Well, show us a picture of her. She's corpse. definitely just, dead. Just what she looked like in cow in cocaine cowboys too. Yep. That's about right. What's a young What's a young Griselda look like though? Wait, so is she alive or is she dead? We don't know. I think she's dead. I mean, I don't Rick know Ross said it in a song. That's why I brought her up. Mm. Uh, and he said, "Rest in peace, Griselda Blanc." Uh, she died in 2012. Got it. I'm screaming, "Rest in peace, Griselda Bronco. <laughs> oh, I said Bronco. That's oh, why know. I'm not good at singing. You saw. Yeah, I know. Uh, there was a second video. This was kind of crazy. Uh, a guy pulled a gun last week on the train. And this My was... My biggest uh, fear. And yeah. they have a video of it? Oh, we got a video of it. Oh, fuck. And uh, let's just play this one out and we'll talk about this in a second. Oh, I, th- I saw this video. You're playing a pissing contest. 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 For bullshit. Stay where you're at. Respect my fucking man. It kind of looks like they're sh- sh- filming a Portlandia sketch, though. <laughs> <laughs> How about the guy who was standing there the whole time? He's just like, I'm going to move now. I like how he didn't move past the camera guy. Here. Also, what well, he's about to pull out his camera. <laughs> who doesn't run? I know. Where are you going to gonna run? To the end of the car? Yeah, and good into the next car. It's no, train. it's it's the G train. The cars are locked. In yeah. between. So he does identify himself as a police officer. So apparently, according to the... And now the train opens up and people get onto the car. And, and the woman just opens her book. Oh, yeah, imagine oh getting onto God. the train and there's just a dude holding a gun. People were so calm. I would have fucking been out. Well, so... If someone does weird poetry, I leave. I'm like, Not no, if he looks like Bernie fucking... Gets. You know what I mean? You're, you're fine. Well... I was going to talk about that. I'm glad you brought that up. Yeah. You know what? It's perfect that you're on this episode because I knew you would know Bernie Getz. Yeah. What? I'm a native New Yorker. Bernie Getz is the guy that, uh, was he inspired by Death Wish or was Death Wish based on him? It's one of those two things. They called him the subway vigilante. Yeah. He got acquitted despite killing multiple people. Yeah. So do you know the whole story? Do you want to tell these guys? Because I can I tell. Mean, I love to know. hear it. I, they don't know. This is This was a huge. Do you know who that is? No. This was a huge story in, I believe it was like 1984. So this guy okay. had been previously mugged on the train. Okay. So he went to Florida, mm-hmm. of course, mm-hmm. and got a gun mm-hmm. and brought it back. So mm-hmm. he, he now carried a gun on him. So it turns out uh, four black teenagers. By the way, pre-9-11 planes were just like the subway. So it's like you could just pull, you just bring it oh down there, pull it out on a guy. In a it was the Wild like West. Yeah. Oh, wait, start over. Hold on. He what? So he got. Sorry, I wasn't so, listening. I was just saying. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh I do that sometimes. <laughs> Um, so he got on, he went to Florida, bought a gun because he had been previously mugged Okay. and he's like, this isn't happening again. So he went, he picked up a gun. Right. He now carries a gun on him when he's on the train. Okay. Now four black teenagers. I don't know if you're just saying, okay, so we'll have to. No, I'm actually listening. Okay. Uh, so then four black teenagers, uh, okay. sit down by him mm-hmm. and they apparently kind of sit, like they relocate and they sit on both sides of him. Okay. And then one leans in and goes, give me $5. This guy takes the gun out and without asking any questions, and just starts unloading on the four kids. So, But this was at a time when this was, the this subway was, was, it was a very incredibly dangerous. Place dangerous. To be. Okay. Like, uh, like, it's not, even with all the crazy homeless people yes. on the subway now, like in the 90s and the 80s, like, I remember I, w- I wanted to go to something and it was at like nine o'clock at night, but I had to transfer at 42nd street from like the a and my grandmother was like absolutely not 
when really? I was like, yeah, it was just like, I was like, I do that trip during the day. She's like, you're not doing it at night. Yeah. Wow. Trains are covered in graffiti. You know, it's just, it's not, it's not the place you wow. want to be even during the day. So this happened in the middle of the fucking day. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and you know, the, the, the big part of the whole story was that he didn't even get indicted. He didn't even have to go to court for this. Why? Because that's how pissed off because so many people were. That everyone was, was just getting like, mugged. everyone was like, you know what? And also they probably kicked all the black people off the jury. Let's be fair. Well, that might have happened yeah. as well. I think one of the Did questions- Did he kill them all? No, no, none of them. Well, none of them died directly from that. One of them wound up paralyzed. And I think it was 10 or 11 years later, actually won like a $43 million civil suit. Mm -hmm. But- you know, okay. so that's a civil suit. You don't actually yeah. have to do time for that. Yeah. Um, and it came out, you know, there was an uproar and everyone was kind of split down the middle right. on whether this guy was justified or not. And there was obviously, you know, everyone had their case for each side. But it became a, a huge spotlight because it was like he didn't even get indicted. And everyone was like, well, shit, I'm going to fucking carry a gun then and start unloading on people in the subway. You know, can you imagine if that was like the case? If all of a sudden people started doing this type of shit. Mm -hmm. So um, that was the big deal. Um, I know that there's at least one documentary. I don't know if there's any others. It's got to be, you know, this has got to be one of those things where one of these biopics or movies come out about this because it was a For big sure. deal in New York. Um, but that's, I'm glad you mentioned that because that's exactly what I was thinking when this happened. Well, when you saw that? When I saw this video of the guy pulling Well, yeah, the like gun keep out. in mind, that's like around the time of like, uh, you guys know the Guardian Angels are? Yeah. They're mostly dorks, but what they would do was they would just, there'd be like 30 of them and they would all get on the subways and kind of, if there's 30 people there that mm -hmm. are willing to fight, nobody's going to mug you. Right. Like it was like a whole movement in like the late 70s. Oh, wow. They're the That's ones who wear cool. the red, yeah, the red nice. jackets, yeah. the berets. Yeah. yeah. That... They wore berets. That's why I say they were a little, <laughs> it's a very French thing to do, you know? <laughs> well, it's also- They were singing I Prince. I don't think yeah. they actually have any kind of like authority. No, right? they just yeah. were doing this. They just- Because there was not enough police right. on the subways. Right, right. And this is back when like MTA, the MTA police back then weren't connected to the NYPD directly. So you wouldn't get as much, like people used to fuck up MTA police. That's why they made them completely NYPD- yeah, officers, and that's uh, that's now what the, like the port authority, port authority. Yeah, it was like the port. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what that became. God damn! Wow, it's so good having him on the show that's for this type of crazy. shit. <laughs> yeah, that's wild. But you know, those that that's exactly what I thought too. So the whole story, because originally, as you can imagine, you know, people run wild when they see this video originally get posted. I didn't even know anything. Someone sent me the video. I posted it. Next thing you know, the fucking news is reaching out to me. They're like, "Hey, what's the what's the story behind this video?" And I was like, I don't fucking know. I have no idea. Someone sent it to me. So, you know, there was no news to report right away. And mm -hmm. then, uh, sure enough, uh, the news wound up getting to the story. And uh, Fuck. they found out it was a retired police detective who legally was was brandishing a weapon. And they yeah. arrested, they arrested I mean, the guy with the bat. No. Yeah, that he, gun looked like it should be retired. Yeah. It looked yeah. Good, didn't it? It was old revolver. Yeah. yeah. It was like an old revolver. I was like, yeah, that's revolver? the guy in the bat, honestly. Well, when he pulled out the gun, I heard. <laughs> <laughs> it was a tumbleweed. Yeah, look at that thing. Mind. I mean. Yeah, it doesn't look fresh. As long as, we're, as long as we're mentioning stuff from rap songs, well, when they switched the guns over from revolvers to 9mm, there's a big L lyric about it. Really? Yeah. There's a big L lyric about. Switching cops over to nine clocks. I can't remember exactly what it is. See, a lot of people I haven't turned on uh, Platinum Plus in quite a while. Ugh. But uh, that thing's also a hand cannon. That thing, it may be small, but that thing will do some damage. It's, it's a gun. Anxiety. Yeah, but there's some guns that you can you can shoot. That did I tell you what like, happened ow. to me on the train or that thing that I saw the no that tell happened me. to you and that's just something. In passing? Well, no, this like... Did it, did it have to do with the video you sent me? No. Okay. That was separate. crazy. That was gross. That was, was gross. just a piece of shit. <laughs> on the seat. Right after and, like, we... The right after we the oh, I saw one. I saw a right fat after we turd last week. on the Columbus Circle, the staircase in the middle of the day. It, I've seen people actually shit there in broad daylight. Like when it's daylight yeah, outside. Yeah, a problem. On like, yeah, 53rd Street. No, this... No, I was sitting on the train. Pack train. Pack train. I get a seat. I'm facing this way, and uh, a trans woman gets on the train. She's she's on the train. She's obviously on drugs, very skinny. She sits on the cooler. That's transphobic, Kim. <laughs> she's, yeah. Those she are hormones. Sits on the, she sits on this cooler. She sits on this cooler she has, 
and she's like sitting. So she's facing the people facing opposite of her. So she's face to face with someone and her and I are sitting the same way. So I only see her back. She's a little bit in front of me to the right. And she's got all this food in her hand. She's got like a, a leftover plate. It looked like mashed potatoes or something gross that like has been left over for hours. It looks like if you left mashed potatoes and gravy on the counter for four hours and then you were like, I'm going to eat this again. Ugh. And she's quietly eating it and everyone's just minding their business and there's people standing in front of me so I can barely see her. <clears throat> and then suddenly she just starts screaming like, you're not my father or something like that. And she oh, just God. slams um, like half the plate. I think she, I didn't even see. I think she took a handful of mashed potatoes and slammed the window behind her and it splashes all over this dude. <sighs> all over this dude. This bitch is gross ass food. And he just gets up and walks away. He doesn't say. I mean, what do you do though? Like, what would you do if that happened to you? I'd probably do that. You just walk what, away. What, you and you're a girl. You, you can get out fight. and call an Uber, and you can't can fight a trans woman. It's a dude. Oh, it's a lose lose for you. Oh, it was a man. It's a dude that became a female. Yeah, that's yeah, what I'm saying. If like, I hit that person, I'm going hate crime. to all the but jail. That's what I mean. Well, it's it's also, lose, I can't fight. Lose, lose I can't you. fight her either because biologically, she's stronger than me. She's still a man. <laughs> um, you know, but biologically, that's, that's, that's no not one a person fucking you cut fight my throat. Anyway. You don't want to fight that person anyway. So he just gets up and moves, and now the train's like awkwardly quiet. She she screams something else. She's like, "I'm sick of it." And I, no one was moving. Not. Like that's when I get up. I'm Every, like, okay, time. Well, we're everyone. We're still moving. These mashed potatoes are lumpy. <laughs> yeah, it was some crazy shit and then so people kind of gave her gave her her space and the guy moves away and then like 20 seconds later i hear some girl go he should beat your fucking ass for that blah 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 you faggot she starts saying shit like uh, that yeah. some girl because at first when she was like he should beat your ass for that you threw you threw your food at that man he should beat the fuck out of you it i was, was like yes and kids. then she was like you fucking faggot and i was like oh no yeah uh, uh and it was like really awkward and then the trans girl was like fuck you bitch fuck you and then she starts throwing the potatoes everywhere oh on this packed God. train how did kim i know i've asked you and in the past, how point, did you not get video you could you could have made a lot of money off of this i was video. ducking off potato if i would have gotten video, video i would have been covered oh, you license it out dude you license, license it out all the place ridiculous as all these shows they'll they'll buy it really oh yeah so so she um so then she starts like being violent and there's two guys in front of me and they're about to move and i grabbed the guy in front of me and i was like please don't move <laughs> <laughs> you used they had a human shield? Yes. And he like started laughing and then I and the girl next to me was like a cute chick and she was like, Yeah, please don't move. And then he we put him almost oh. in a position of like, fuck, dude. Yeah, and then dude's so, about to get lit up with potatoes. Yeah, so he blocked us until the train stops and then we moved. Did he did he take any for you guys? Uh, I think he got a little bit on the back of his pants and his shoes, yeah. <sighs> But like we did, we did t use the woman card at that moment. Yeah, I was like, please, sir, please, sir, could you give me a suckle of protection? <laughs> and he did. That's what Hannah, I didn't even ask you. Woman. Have you had any crazy run-ins since being in New York? I mean, I know you've only been here for two years, but usually it doesn't take long. Yeah, no, I had more in LA. I feel like on the subway there. No, yeah, no. Um, I wa I walked in on a holdup at a liquor store. Whoa! And Ooh. um, that was like the craziest. Thing. How do you even? Did react you walk to back that out? Yeah. Do yeah. You turn around or you freeze? Well, I was in the. There was the only liquor store that we knew worked on fake IDs because I went to USC, so we were down in like South Central, and we went. To, I drove to this one, and then I walk in. And the guy, and then this guy walks in with a girl and she's like looking at me and he pulls a gun and the guy behind the counter is just like pulling money out. And then the guy who has a gun was like, you should fucking leave. To you? Yeah. He was <gasps> like, and then I get in my car and I, I, cause I'm, and then I call the police as I'm leaving, but, and then I see like four people running towards the liquor store and I was like, oh my God. I, oh, it was like, like more people going to rob them? Yeah. Oh my God. I was like, it. <laughs> Even now, just thinking, it gave me like the worst. Did the police Whoa. even answer? Because usually the police don't answer down there. It's just Wait a like, minute. Yeah. So he warned you because he knew all those people were going to come in and be violent? Yeah. <gasps> oh, I mean, I don't yeah. know what happened. I mean, Thank they God had he the told you. Yeah. I was like, I was about to die. You didn't hear any from gunshots Mike's Hard Lemonade. Left, right? yeah. From Mike's Hard Lemonade, <laughs> bro. Like, what? It's I mean, not worth it. What yeah. were you That's doing? Insane. I mean, I guess I know. You just said about the ID thing. Yeah, I was. It was on my way home shit. from work, so I just stopped in, and then I was like, I mean, it was it was like eight thirty, 
and this guy yeah i had a gun and i was like oh my god this is so i died I was yeah. like, fucked up. Yeah. And I do, I, I had a friend go to school out there and I know that it's almost like a line drawn down. It's like, this is, this is good. This is bad. Don't cross that line. Yeah. It's, yeah, that's pretty much how it was. If we got drunk and like went too far, you definitely know, which sounds, I mean, it, it was, it was. No, it's the way it, it is. Um, in LA, outside of a 7-Eleven, there was surveillance surveillance video of this, and it was the 7-Eleven that I would go to all the time. This uh, homeless man walked in and got caught stealing, and another man was like, and the and the homeless man got kicked out. And he was like, "Get out of here! We see you stealing or whatever." And another man offered to buy his food. He was like, "I'll just buy it for him," and the homeless man pulled out an axe and started. <gasps> Chopping at the man who offered him what? the money. I mean, you don't really pull out an axe. It's almost I, like you. I think there was a video gotta, of it. It's got to be there, right? Yeah. I don't how do you know. pull? What I don't do you really pull that remember out of? the story, but I mean, yeah, to be fair, he was wearing happened. all of his clothes. I think he and left and then someone. came back. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Shot, God yeah. damn. So he, so he killed the guy. It was at a Seven Eleven, I believe, in, in West uh, Hollywood. He killed the guy who was offering to get him food. He, Did he kill him? He, no, he didn't kill him. But oh. the guy was hospitalized. He just got axed. Yeah, and That's I think like it was max or a sled. Oh no, no, no! It was like a sledgehammer oh. Oh. or something like that. And he just started beating him with it. Yeah, that's it. Wait, you guys uh, are great back to... there. I saw oh, a guy. Oh, oh, it is an axe. Look. They're zooming in. I'm assuming they're zooming in. This is the one I go to. How? And he waits for him. This guy just bought him food. And he said, "I didn't oh. axe you for nothing, homie." And then he just. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is fucking really bad. Oh yeah, that's rough. I can't even watch this. Is the other guy helping? This isn't he's as bad as to. that machete video we watched, Kim. The other guy's trying to help. Oh, he's out. He's out. Mm. Oh, and he's just he's just axing him while the guy's just laying yeah. there. Yeah. Oh. Fucking hell. How did this guy not die? I don't know. That's wild, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh man. I can't even watch that. That was what the fuck was that sound? <laughs> it goes right into a Daddy Yankee song. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's okay. I saw a dude get hit with a mallet like a month ago. Oh, Ooh, my God. What, what are these weapons that people are pulling? <laughs> it, was a rubber, it was a rubber tiling mallet. It was like mallet. a video game. And the guy I almost saw him get hit, hit with me a blow with up it. hammer. <laughs> yeah. I was hanging out with some buddies at this bar, and I was like, let's go to the other bar up the block. This place kind of sucks. And we go up there. We go to this sports bar. And uh, these two kids who are like shrimpy little kids walk past me and go, hey, yo, we don't want no shit, man. We're just getting our fucking wallet. And I was like, why would I care? He's like, what, you think we don't remember we just got into a fight with you? And I'm like, I literally hadn't walked in the bar yet. I was waiting for my buddy to smoke a cigarette. And I go, it's one of my more rational friends. I'm pretty drunk. And these two little kids say the shit and they walk in the bar. And I just go in to go tell them to go fuck themselves. And my buddy just taps me and goes, what the fuck are you doing? And I go, you're right. And then I come outside. They're fighting with a guy who looks like me, but bigger. No. And then all of a sudden, they pull out a mallet and blast him in the head like four times. Oh, no. Man. He had a fucking hole in his head. Oh, God. Like, That's, so notice that every time Figa tells a story, it's the one common thing is he's borderline blackout drunk. I wasn't borderline blackout drunk. I was just angry. <laughs> he was like, those I was kid, blackout Those kids, were, no, they were being pricks. They were fucking with me. It's not like I was fucking with Are them. Are you an angry drunk? Not, not normally. No, I've seen Figa drunk a few times. Yeah, I'm usually chill. pretty happy. Yeah. I feel like uh, that's usually the what how each story starts. He, no, but... he never tells drunk, angry stories. They're usually like, I fell asleep. Someone cut my pocket. Yeah, I get angry oh, because of yeah, someone else's That just reminded me, actually. We had uh, Mark Norman last week, and he told a story very similar, similar to yours about falling asleep on the train and waking up to someone in his pocket. Yeah. yeah. And it honestly, it was it was hilarious because he said he woke up. he sounds up. like a carnival barker? <laughs> 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 so he's a, he's a good dude but trying uh, to get the jump on me see <laughs> he, he said he woke up um, yeah. and the dude was in his pocket and he told him don't worry about it basically just said don't worry about it i'm almost done and he f said he just fell right back down to the seat and the guy walked off with his phone his wallet his joke book um, which was random, which and his is house worth, keys. which is worth nothing to them. And his <laughs> house keys, his, his house keys. Yeah, they took his keys too. That means that guy was that guy was thought about going to his house. 
Oh, yeah, God. because if he had his address from the ID, yeah, that's so scary. Yeah, I didn't even, I didn't even put all that together, but yeah. And that's... then the second time, he said he woke up during it, and then they punched him. And well, knocked wait, this him happened out again. twice. Well, yeah. oh, it happened three times. Um, How do you fall asleep? Is he drinking? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I used to fall asleep on the train. I just lived far from Manhattan and I used to like just count on sleeping on the train, even like sober. Like I used to have, if I used to, I used to have to go to. I fall asleep sometimes now. Yeah. I used to have to go to like, Kim. That's that's not good. What? I fell asleep, I think, today on a train. Daytime is not as bad as like middle of the night. I don't fall asleep at night, but daytime I do. Yeah. If you want to rob me, catch me on the C train. The good part about the ID thing, though, was that his ID was from New Orleans, so oh, okay. it, it wasn't like his his home address. Oh, okay. They wanted to go to New Orleans, wow, and they were, got it. How do you know what his yeah, ID but, said? Because remember, I asked him, and he said, um, I, had to, I had to go, you have to get oh, an yeah, ID. Yeah. It's very oh, yeah, inconvenient, because yeah, yeah. you get it I'll stolen. Like, well, you know that's got to be awful to have an out-of-state ID get stolen, because like if you walk into the New York DMV, that's like six points, you right. need like seven. Yeah. But like to then be like, oh, I'm fucking assed out, because right. uh, like your social security card is zero points, and so is your birth certificate. Like What else do you have? If you don't have a passport. Right. Well, um, you know what? I order my, I'm from Virginia. I still have a Virginia ID. I can get it offline. Okay. They'll just send you one? Mm-hmm. Okay. So that's probably what it I is. I have an expired California ID, bit. and I just don't have like an identity. It's anymore. expired right now. Yeah, and I just <laughs> and don't no have, one cares like, an about identity. that. Like you don't have any problems anywhere. I have a passport. Oh, you do have a passport. Yeah, okay. but I can't get like a driver's license because the DMV. The passport isn't like four or five points. No, the passport's no points. That really? should be the most I thought, yeah. right? Yeah, passport's yeah. literally no points. That's crazy. Then you had no need idea. like a birth certificate, which mine's just like a copy, or it's a torn one. But that's also so they no d- points. They won't accept that. Yeah, yeah and then uh, or a social security card, which I can't find. I remember when I got my oh. first ID, I had to. I was young enough when I got my first ID in New York. I had to one point is if you bring a parent in. And I had really? to I had to bring my sixty year old dad oh, into the fucking I'm sure he was excited about that. No, he wanted me to have an ID because he didn't want me getting locked up for something stupid. And if you yeah. don't have an ID, you get locked up for right. something stupid. Right. Wow. Well, as long as we're talking about all these dark stories, um, this was something that happened a couple of days ago. There was a train in Bangladesh. This was pretty bad. Pull up the picture of this shit. This was so you know those trains over there are just absolutely fucking flooded with mm-hmm. people. This thing literally ripped off the tracks wow. and flipped upside down on a bridge over the dirtiest fucking water I've ever seen. It, it looks like the runaway train ride at Great Adventure. I'm not it, gonna. It lie. really does. It really does actually. Um, wow. Do they have video of what when it happened? They don't. They have video of them rescuing people. I think there's only two people. But in it's so dark. It happened. Camera. All right. So this is. Imagine this shit happening at night. Your train flips over. You're over a bridge with the dirtiest water. Um, there was like hundreds of people that were fucking injured. Yeah. No, I think five five people died maybe. But I mean, um, there's clearly people that have survived <laughs> no it biggie. walking up the side. <laughs> well, no, if you saw these are the well, fucking like, trains I picture people like on top of. You know, like have you ever seen the videos uh, yeah, of people in, like, like India? Yeah, they like yeah. they like they they all stand on the top of the trains when it's going. I mean, I don't know if that was that kind, but that's how I picture it. But that that's, makes me nervous because I take the train home from here to DC, and now I'm going to wear my seatbelt. Do the oh, trains yeah. have seatbelts? I don't are know. I don't think trains have seatbelts. Do they not? No. They should well, if they're going to do this shit. <laughs> that might be more dangerous, no? N- uh, I don't know. I don't know. Would you want to be, put it this way, would you want to be buckled in if a train flipped off the bridge into water, but you're still alive upon impact? No, because I feel like your head would hit the bottom. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I like feel the, like hit that's the, like the roof. Hit the, hit yeah. the roof. So if you're yeah. buckled in, you could just, un- it's not like you're locked in for life. You just unbuckle it and then climb out the window, mm. right? I mean, it sounds easy. Yeah, I make it sound like, you know, when you <laughs> do Have that you thing. Simon I didn't realize Birch you were at the no? rock. <laughs> what? Wait, what was that? You were the Simon rock. Birch. <laughs> well, What's Simon Birch? Uh, no, that movie Simon where the, Birch? Uh, yeah, the bus. The bus. Oh my God. It's, it's a so movie. sad. It's Jesus. so fucking sad. Wait, is that the one with the handicapped kid? Mm-hmm. He's little. Oh, He's little. yeah, yeah. And then the bus crashes into the ocean and he tries to save, and he saves all the kids, but he drowns. Yeah. So good. Is the movie called Simon Birch? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's so good. I think it's on HBO right now. Oh, he was mm-hmm. just so handicapped that the seatbelt didn't work for him. He just slipped right out in the water. Um, Kim, I know you usually do your uh, what pissed off who. Mm-hmm. I didn't even ask you if you have one this week. I don't know if you do, Mm-mm. but I have one. Okay. I was curious why people 
keep going to the Dominican Republic. I don't even know what's happening there. People, people are dying. People just keep dying. Why? They're getting poisoned. It's different, different reasons, but the, the overall reason seems to be that they are drinking bootleg alcohol. But everyone, for some reason, keeps fucking going there, and they keep doing it. I mean, and it's got to be a discount it. race right now. So <laughs> you get yeah. that shit, get all your booze in the duty free shop on the way out. You're good, right? Yeah. Well, See, like, I guess what they're doing, and someone someone said what they're doing is they're taking like the the premium alcohol bottles and they're filling them with other alcohol at the resorts, right? Yeah, at the resorts. So these people are just thinking they're drinking Tito's and they're drinking some moonshine that was made in a fucking bathtub. And that's why they're dying. Well, because it's like methanol. It's like it's like uh, chemicals yeah. that you're drinking, and then the next morning you don't wake up. It's pretty sick. They can't taste the difference. Like that's scary to me. I wonder if you just it's get proof to that a... you should never pay for premium vodka. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I wonder if it's just one of those things you just get so banged up that you're like, uh, you get to a point where you're like, I don't even. I don't yeah, even that's care true. Anymore. I'm sure they dilute it with water too, because like moonshine yeah. and vodka are similar things. They're just right. made out of, you know, it's just one's Whoa, made. What the fuck? So I, I don't know. Maybe you guys can find out. I think the death toll is up to maybe twelve now. But that's 12 in like, I want to say the last month or so. That's crazy. But people, I just don't understand why people keep going. And they, they keep The The picture drinking. they showed was at the Hard Rock Resort, which Hard Rock, is okay. already a red flag to me. The like, I feel, yeah. I mean, that's not like a snob, but <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, yeah, I was like, well, that adds up. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's also other causes. I mean, there was a couple that, there was a woman who got almost beat to death. She just like left her room and someone beat the shit out of her. Uh, she had to go to a hospital for like a month in the DR. That's um, just a marriage in the Dominican Republic. <laughs> well, this woman, <laughs> it, if you saw the people, you know Jesus. it's not the locals. Well, now they're married. That's how you get married in the Dominican Republic. <laughs> That's how you propose. Yeah. <laughs> God, these stories make me not want to leave this room. Yeah. Death sells, though. People love death. Uh, we found that out on this show. We, we had a whole episode about death. People fucking ate that up. You guys should put out like a DVD called uh, Subway Creatures Faces of Death. Ooh. Well, we we originally started doing something like that, and it just got too dark because then you had people sending in videos of suicide, people jumping mm. in front of trains and shit, and I was just like, all right, I'm, I'm getting lots of videos of people just leaping off of platforms. And How do people know when to pull out their phone for that? They're they like, don't. It's the I've watched it happen live. Uh, it's the surveillance. You, wait, you, you saw this live? No, I. one time I was driving with my friend to a show. We were on the highway and we were passing this bridge. And as we were passing, I saw a guy walking over the bridge. And I was like, what's that guy doing? Because he walked in front of the cars on the highway. And he went and sat on the end of the bridge. And we pulled over. We were the first car to pull over. And I opened the door and my friend opened the door. And as... What were you guys going to do? Well, my friend was like, hey, and the guy, we were like walking towards him. And as that was happening, like three more cars pulled over in front of us. And those people started like talking to him from afar. So we kind of backed up because we didn't like want to overcrowd him. Within like two minutes, a cop pulled up and then the cop started talking to him within like 20 more seconds, like. 20 cars pulled over on the highway and everyone had their phone out and it became oh, like so weird and sick sad. that I left. That's sad. It's like, do you really want that on tape? It was Do you really up. want to get to relive that moment of the guy just leaping? Even still, like who even want, like, honestly, I don't even want to stay there. I don't even want to. No, we left. Yeah. As soon as other people Unless pulled I over, feel we're like, let's go. Yeah, I don't yeah. want to be like exactly. a part and of this. I was just going to say kind of like, it sounds like what you guys were doing. If you can make a difference and somehow try to help. But after that point, and yeah. there is a cop there, it's mm -hmm. like, all right, I'll see you because I'm not dealing with that exactly. shit. Yeah, a good buddy of mine's an EMT, and a guy, we were driving uh, out to Flushing, and a guy jumped in front of an 18-wheeler in front of us, and we just saw his, my buddy- Like off an uh, overpass? Or? No, like walked down the highway on ramp and waited till a big truck came by, jumped in front of him, oh, we were behind fuck. the truck, and we just saw him, and he stopped, and he was, and like- he was like, he had to stay there and file a report because he's in FDNY EMT. Right. So we had, I was like, I was like, it, yeah. once there was other, like, I was like blocking off traffic, but once there was other like FDNY on the scene, I was like, I'm going to go back in the car. There's no reason for me. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't want to yeah, yeah. be a part of this guy dying. Right. I don't blame I him. I saw a YouTube video of a guy who, um, he is a paramedic and he has made it his sole job. It's like in another country. To, and all uh, these if, things happen in the Dominican Republic, right? Yes, exactly. <laughs> that's the that's the time. If there is a bad accident where someone died and people are like taking pictures, he will stop them 
and go, okay, come on, you want to see the body? I'll bring you to the body up close since you want to humiliate. And he'll like do this whole thing really like makes them feel That's terrible great. about wow. it. Well, do you remember there was there was a website called Faces of Death growing up? I remember when it was VHS tapes. Oh, you had the V. Yeah. Wow. Remember when? Uh, remember when there was like the the LimeWire and Kazam days? Yeah. yeah. Yep. You could find Faces of Death on there. I remember me and my brothers just downloading those videos, mm -hmm. and I don't know why we would do it. I think we were just curious. It was a curiosity thing. I it it definitely was a curiosity. Did you look thing. at weird videos like that? No. But no. it fuck. You know it. it <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I was in like sex chat rooms. Are your parents still married? <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah, they are. Yeah. Are yours? No. Are yours? Dead. See? I don't... Is, you there's think a that's correlation, what it is? yeah. Yeah. That I don't... What? I don't know. I You're don't the know. only one with parents who are still married and the only one who didn't look at faces of death. I, it's because I have a very... Death scares me so much. Me too. And it has since I was like three years me old. Me too. I still looked at it. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, I, okay. I think, I think <laughs> it was... It totally was. It was a curiosity thing. And then, you know... I think it also kind of got us at an early age where it may have desensitized us and we're just like, oh, yeah. Nothing will ever top when I watch that fucking Taliban Al-Qaeda prisoner cut Jesus. that dude's head off. Oh, yeah. You know, it's like, it, you, you, it's, it's hard to top up. certain things. Yeah, it's, it's hard to up. top certain no, things. Do you, Kim, do you remember that machete video we watched? No. Oh. I think it was on Real Ass Podcast. God. A yes, while ago. Yes, that was one of the off. worst. You know, it was his arm. But yeah. then he was just walking around, blood coming out of his Yeah, it was really crazy. bad. Shit. That was one of the craziest <laughs> things. <laughs> it's turned into the darkest fucking episode. And uh, it's funny, too, because we're, now we're going to we're gonna jump into this clip of the week, and it's so Super lighthearted. not dark. Let's see it. All right, let's Next get it. Next up, Subway Creatures, clip of the week. Week, week, week. This kind of stuff has happened before. Kimmy, I feel like you'll actually, you'll like this. You like to sing. You like to sing. Maybe not on the train, but you definitely sing in the studio. Uh, what happened here? A guy, one of those guys got onto the train who loves to play music. Uh -huh. There's always there's always one guy on every train who plays music either without headphones or on a stereo, whatever it is. Yeah. And the whole train, the music he was playing was I Want It That Way by Backstreet Boys. And the whole train started singing. Oh, that's the best. I don't know if you saw this. Let's play it's it. It's the kind of thing you wouldn't believe if somebody posted it on social media. Yeah, with video. yeah, exactly. Like, you're a fucking liar. We're not friends anymore. Yeah. Dish. Mm -hmm. Fire, the one desire. I wish the video was longer, to be honest with you. That way. I knew Kim now was I do can this. see that we're falling apart from the way that he used to be. You are a singer. To be. Yeah. She, did you not sing at Skankfest? She did. Mm -hmm. I thought you did. It was really bad. Very nice. Oh, we got, uh, yes, we got a couple of the single. Yes. There you go. Get that in the shot. All right. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> it's showtime. How did it, how did the singing go at Skankfest? My voice was really bad, but it was fun. I mean, at that point, does anyone really care? I no, mean, everyone's everyone just had fun. So, having so much fun. Yeah, it was fun. And is that what led to the stage diving? Uh, it's sort of. The show, the entire show did, actually. That's awesome. Man. Yeah, it was really just so cool. Yeah. Um, but this is also cool. This moment on the train. Yeah, that's um, great. It, it rarely happens. Mm -hmm. But I think it's also funny if you look at the guy who's actually blasting that music. It's just like a black dude with no shirt on. I love it. Probably the last thing you'd expect him to be playing. But the whole train got in on it. It's great. So, that's awesome, man. Um, that's actually all we got today. Mm -hmm. Great. That's Yeah, that kind of went by. It went dark. We're on a little bit of a roller coaster on that episode. I think we're all closer dark. for it. Oh, listen. I, <laughs> I don't mind the darkness. I don't mind the darkness on the show. Um, however, let's get into some shameless plugging here. Uh, Hannah, you want to start us off? Where can we find you? What do you got coming up? Where can people, if they want to hear more of you, find you? Uh, I Comedy Central Originals on YouTube and Comedy Central Facebook page. So I do their digital videos. Wow. So funny. We just did one today. Yeah, together. I just filmed one. Did you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Was this like a series or... Yeah. What's it called? Uh, the series we did today is called 
It's the name's bad because we couldn't. It's called Addiction Busters because uh, we couldn't use interventions because legal. Yeah, of course. And then I have a series called Cheers to You where I just do jokes of the week. Very nice. It's really, really good. So I'll have to check that out. Uh, you have an Instagram or Twitter or anything like that? Yeah, I'm at Hans Dickey. Hans Dickey. Yeah. Hans Dickey. I like that. Um, Kim, what do you got? Follow me on Twitter at Kimberly Congdon, on Instagram at Kim Congdon. Check out my other podcast, Broad Topics, iTunes, Google Play, YouTube, uh, T-O-P-I-X. We also have shirts on sale now, Broad Topics t-shirts. Got the shirts now. Yes, merchpump, merchpump.com slash Broad Topics. Get yourself a shirt. Um, uh, check out Stone Science, youtube.com slash Stone Science, also on the Gas Digital Network. And um, yeah. Awesome. Chris. Obviously, uh, High Society Radio here every Thursday at 8, Gas Digital, but you can find it on iTunes every Tuesday, new episodes. And uh, the internet pay-per-view that we filmed at Skankfest for Capital Wrestling will be coming out in the near future. Look for that, and I run the uh, High Society Radio Instagram page if you want to follow that. It's at High Society Radio, and then at Chris from BKLYN on Twitter. Love that. Are we still, uh, are we running into their show still? The High Society I think you guys are right after us. We're yeah, right after the show, 9.30, yeah. you guys start. Got it. All right. Uh, I say it each week. Uh, subscribe to the podcast on iTunes, YouTube, Google Play, Spotify, Stitcher, anywhere you listen to your podcast. Check out the Instagram page, Subway Creatures Pod, where we're going to post highlights of the show, plus bonus content you won't find on the main account. Uh, you can get a 14-day free trial using promo code Subway on GasDigitalNetwork.com. That's where you're going to see all the Not Safe for Work bonus content, as well as any other show that's on the network. Uh, again, that is promo code Subway on GasDigitalNetwork.com. Uh, Hannah, Chris, thank you guys for uh, stopping in this episode. Hell yeah. This was, uh, this was a fun one. Um, until next week, guys. We'll see you. Bye.